And now the Massachusetts State House of present day. Uh, first up, uh, Dork Hall. Uh, this used to be the Senate chambers at one time. Um, and then was uh, configured eventually to where it is now as kind of a, uh, a meeting room, conference room, a, uh, 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 a space for uh, meetings and stuff. Um, no longer the Senate chamber. Uh, they, they have tours here. The tours begin here. Um, they have a collection of things here. Um, and it's, it's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a gathering place of, uh, you know, visitors and, uh, such. Okay, and it has a collection of, uh, uh, various things throughout the room here, uh, that over time has, uh, accumulated, um, uh, front and center is John Hancock, the first governor of the, uh, the, the new country, um, at, uh, the Massachusetts state, no longer the colony. Um, there's a nod to, uh, what is it, Lafayette, I believe here, um, and his, uh, undying support for the colonies during the during the revolution um, the room is just just a collection of uh, uh, plaques monuments statues uh, in the center you see the the columns the columns from what I read uh, were all original to the Senate chambers here, and uh, they were all carved from uh, uh, a tree taken from the commons in the late 18th century. Okay, all hand carved and original to the room. Okay. Um, among the other notable plaques is um, my man Bullfinch, Charlie Bullfinch, and he gets uh, attention right next to the emperor himself, um, George Washington. And uh, again, uh, just it, it dates this uh, statue of Washington because he's in Roman garb like we saw in uh, Baltimore at the uh, you know Washington uh, tribute there um, and it's <laughs> it's still discussed but at one time it was the thing um, here is here's a plaque dedicated to uh, the uh, renewal and the renovation one of the reservation, renovations here of the, uh, of the Massachusetts State House. Okay. You gotta realize how old this is and uh, how many times and how significant, of course, it is and how many times it has been done and redone as not only the state has grown, but also the country. Um, John Adams. Um, uh, number one, John Adams, and uh, words of wisdom, which I think is kind of cool. So that's it for the door call. It's kind of a meeting, conference kind of place, um, no longer the Senate chambers, um, just a collection of uh, monuments and tributes and uh, uh, information that uh, tourists like myself may uh, 
be interested in. Um, now, from Doric Hall, the, the, the capital goes back. It goes all the way back. And what you have after Doric Hall is you have a series of halls that follow it, okay, or that go behind it. Um, the first being after Doric Hall, um, Nurses Hall, okay, which is kind of interesting, I found. You know, I don't know when this was uh, established, but it's kind of nice that uh, uh, nurses would be recognized. Okay. Henry Cabot Lodge. Okay. And on the other side, of this vista, you have another Henry Cabot Lodge, okay. A younger man. All right. Into the uh, nurse's hall. Uh, Army nurses from 1861 to 1865. Daughters of veterans. Uh, yeah, we've seen throughout the country the uh, the the contributions made by uh, daughters of the American Revolution, daughters of you know uh, foreign wars, daughters of you know. And this hall seems to be dedicated um, to uh, the nurses um, and their contributions to. Uh, uh, the wars that the country has fought, Civil War. Okay, this is... All right. Okay. Bit more ornate in this hall. Okay. A little bit more grandiose than in the uh, Doric Hall. <laughs> Certainly much more attractive than Doric Hall. We move on to the next hall. Okay. And here you have <coughs> uh, the rotunda. All right. First, let's see who is the bookends here. One side, John Adams seems to be an apt pick to uh, border this. I believe it's the Memorial Hall or the Flag Hall. Um, and on the other side, <clears throat> um, bordering is uh, Samuel McCall, who. Uh, does not strike a bell with me, but I'm sure he did to the Massachusetts people at one time. They paid tribute the last time I was here to the man, I think it's one man that uh, put this flooring in. Okay, quite something. Okay. And, and this is the rotunda. Okay.
I love the marble. I don't know what kind of marble that is, if it is marble, but I like the, the shade of it is, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a nice, uh, it's different than the, uh, the white that uh, we've seen so often and so, so many capitals. Yeah. This is all part of the original state house. Um, I learned that the original state house did not have wings. It did not have. Uh, uh, it did not have wings, um, and I thought for sure, you know, that it would. But it was just a very, uh, very, you know, straight through building, uh, box kind of thing. I think, and uh, it's, uh, you know, designed by Bullfinch and uh, originally, and then, uh, 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 of course, uh, redone and remodeled and renovated time and time again. This is called the flag room. Okay. Okay, uh, those lights, which my camera is not picking up, are uh, uh, flags. Um, I believe impressions from historic battle flags uh, from various wars. The next hall is uh, uh, the border guards are uh, uh, Greenhale, uh, former governor of Massachusetts. And opposing him on the other side is Oliver Ames, also a former governor. All right, let's pause here and till we make this a part two to go to the next room. All right. Plenty to come.